Hey, it's Josh Reimer, and today I'm in LA on another trip around the gayosphere, a place where you can visit a gay beach and what's known as the gayest city in the country. Talk about your ultimate gaycation. Gaysphere.com is your gateway to the best gay and lesbian travel destinations, like Los Angeles, California, where you'll find gorgeous beaches and maybe even spot a celebrity or two in the entertainment capital and second most populous city in the US. Only New York City is bigger, but they don't have sunny weather for almost 300 days a year. The City of Angels, as it's called, is not known for being easy to get around. Transit can be very slow and a difficult way to try to get from one place to another. And driving congestion can make even short trips turn into long ones. It's best to have a vehicle while you're here and give yourself extra time to get around. Plan your hookups accordingly. LA is of course especially known for one area in particular, Hollywood. It's the neighborhood that represents the motion picture industry and has the Hollywood Walk of Fame, with 2,400 stars within the sidewalks stretching out over 18 blocks. The famous Hollywood sign that overlooks the area was first erected in 1929 and has remained erect ever since, even without the help of prescription medication. Venice is the recreational beachfront neighborhood known for its two and a half mile pedestrian area along the beach. Here you'll find the outdoor gym known as Muscle Beach, a variety of shops and vendors, and all sorts of interesting characters. And look, for only $40, you can even get a medical marijuana card. Only in LA. Next to Venice is Santa Monica, which is also known for its beautiful beach area and especially its pier. Built in 1909, the large double-jointed pier is home to a family amusement park, an indoor carousel that's a national historic landmark, and a variety of shops and restaurants. It's also a popular spot for guys with big rods, as in anglers for fishing. What'd you think I meant? West Hollywood, or WeHo as it's often referred to, is the main area for the LGBT community, with 40% of people living in it identifying as gay. It's filled with all kinds of cool shops, restaurants, and bars. It's been rated the most walkable place in California, so whether you want to shop for stuff during the day or shop for men during the night, it shouldn't be too hard to get around and find exactly what you're looking for. Oh, hello. Silver Lake tends to be where the bears hang out, and West Side is where you'll likely find a twink or two. LA in general is a really diverse city, with nearly half of its population born outside of the US. It has the largest Mexican population outside of Mexico, and ethnic areas specific to about a dozen other large immigrant groups. Today I went to little Tokyo, little Ethiopia, and little Armenia. And I'm guessing that guy has a little there's just too much to see and do in an area like LA to be able to fit it into one video, so the best thing to do is of course to come check it out for yourself. Beautiful beaches, beautiful people, and beautiful landmarks. It really is an incredible place for sightseeing and people watching. Speaking of which, I think I see Lady Gaga over there. Or is that just a clown with bad makeup? <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> just kidding, little monsters. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit gaysphere.com to plan your next trip. And of course subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch the next episode when I'll be at another LGBT friendly location somewhere in the gaysphere. Now since I'm here in Beverly Hills, I might as well go do some shopping. Hello Rodeo Drive, goodbye life savings. The famous Hollywood sign that overlooks the area has been erect since 1929. Uh, the famous Hollywood sign that overlooks the area was first erected in 1929 and has remained. The famous Hollywood sign. There it is. Just look at it. The famous Hollywood sign was first erected. Oh my gosh. Has remained. And has remained erect. And has remained erect ever since. Even without. How are you doing? Good. The famous Hollywood sign that overlooks the area was first erected in 1929 and has remained erect ever since. I got yeah. one! I got one!